You want to do something crazy? You want to do something crazy? You want to try something? So do not do this at home. But I thought, you know what? I haven't done any tests lately. And I just got these ceramic end mills from Kenna Metal. And uh, I got some Inconel 718 crazy material, right? Inconel 718 nickel based. Boom. Like it's hard to cut. And I got ceramic. And I got a 60 horsepower Makino over here. I got the DMU over here, the DMU. And this has 20,000 RPMs and through air blasts and everything, which is absolutely great for ceramics. But I just want to know. I just want to know. I got a... Oh, dude, dude. I got a Tormac. I got a Tormac right here. So you think it will work? Like, have you ever seen that before? A ceramic end mills in a Tormac. This thing's stacking up at 1.5 HP. I got 10,000 RPMs. Let's throw in a 3 8 Kenna Metal ceramic cutter into this bad boy. We're going to take a full Z on this 3 8 which is 300 thousandths. And then we're going to go radio engagements 10 thousandths in. And we're going to go at 200 inches per minute. What? Check this out. Oh, man. Hey. <laughs> all right, all right. Quarantine, right? Like, I'm going a little crazy and stuff. Definitely didn't work. Let's go to 100 inches per minute and see if that works. All right? Okay, okay. I know, 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 I know. All right, so ceramics and Tormax don't mix. Now, you guys don't have to ruin your machines. We all know. We tested it, right? It's important. We got to test things, all right? So that doesn't go. Let's keep the ceramics on the high-speed, high-powered machines so we can just blast through crazy materials, right? But 718. You guys saw before, like we actually did Hastelloy X on a Tormac, even though we only had 1.5 HP, 718 Inconel. It's definitely harder to machine than Hastelloy. But you know what? It's all about speeds and feeds. So I'm going to go into the tool crib. I'm going to go get a Kenna Metal Harvey 3 end mill. It's a six flute end mill. We're going to throw it in here and we're going to try it. Boom. So we're at 22 minutes right now. Uh, program is still going. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, stop it. We have success. It's cutting Inconel 718. Let's go check out the tool. Fine little chips right there. Oh man. Oh, it looks so good, huh? I'm doing this with my iPhone. Looks super good. Over 20 minutes and no problem. See guys, it's all about speeds and feeds. It's all about like getting the right depths of cut. You know, the right surface with the right chip load. There's a time to rub hard. There's a time to just come and kiss it. And you'll have success. Boom, 718 Inconel on a Tormac. So again, I just want to make the statement. I do not recommend that anybody machines Inconel in their Tormach, okay? This was a special test. I just wanted to show 
that it could be done with the right variables, the right speeds and feeds, the right depths of cut, the right coolant, right? You can pretty much cut almost anything because it's all about creativity and knowledge and just figuring out what works. All right, so thank you for coming on this journey with me. Uh, blessings to your guys' families, to your companies. We're gonna get over this hump. Manufacturing is gonna be greater than ever before. Just gotta be cool on the pressure. All right, having a little bit of fun. Titans of CNC. Boom!